Hi guys, Eddie here with another video. Today we're going to be discussing uh, the concept of helicopter money uh, and discuss whether UK citizens will actually receive a £2,000 stimulus cheque um, similar to what's been actually used in the United States. So first of all, what are stimulus checks? So stimulus checks are essentially a lifeline um, for anyone who has lost their jobs due to the uh, countrywide coronavirus lockdown and they're part of essentially uh, an economic relief package. So if we take the United States, this was a 2.2 trillion econo economic relief package uh, passed by Congress in March. And this is part of uh, a bill called the CARES Act. Uh, and millions of uh, residents in the United States have essentially been receiving free money. Um, so this is a $1,200 stimulus check, okay? Um, so this is to help them cope with the financial effects of coronavirus. Um, lots of people have lost their jobs uh, in recent months. Biz small businesses are extremely struggling, particularly in retail, restaurants, etc. Uh, and $160 billion has been paid out in around 88 million checks, with a total of 150 million non-taxable checks expected to be given out by the end of the scheme. Um, so as a result of these kind of injections, um, many people uh, in the US um, are receiving this, uh, and this is actually a term called helicopter money, uh, and I'll discuss that later in the video. Uh, Donald Trump obviously is a big um, advocate of this to help uh, his kind of political cause, uh, and he actually is calling for this to go further. Um, so the reason I wanted to discuss this is UK and the Bank of England were likely in the biggest depression right now, uh, I know it kind of doesn't feel like it because we're all in lockdown, um, but this is actually something that the Bank of England have discussed and said we're in the biggest depression since around 1706. So, yeah, 1706. Um, and there's a lot of policy discussions at the moment. Um, lots of Bank of England governors talking about negative interest rates. Uh, and as far as they're concerned, uh, it's definitely a tool that they're going to explore. Um, but like the United States, they may have other measures to look at. Um, so why would the government just give us free money? And what does helicopter um, money like really mean? Um, so essentially, this is actually put um, forth uh, by a Nobel Prize winning economist called Milton Friedman. And this was actually in a 1969 paper entitled The Optimum Quantity uh, of Money. And he basically proposed in this paper um, to hand out cash to the public as a means of kind of kickstarting the country uh, and more importantly, the economy. And a very famous quote, Friedman wrote, let us suppose now that one day a helicopter flies over this community and drops an additional $1,000 in bills from the sky, which is, of course, hastily collected by the members of the uh, community. Uh, and why is this kind of tool being explored? Trillions of dollars, literally trillions of dollars. So in euros, yen, pounds, Central banks have been pumping this uh, into the economy to kind of um, get it going. And this is the same uh, like we saw in the 2008 uh, credit crisis. But global economic growth is expected and forecasted as a result of corona coronavirus to be to fall by around 50 percent. Um, so all this money is being pumped in uh, in the form of quantitative easing uh, mostly. And this is essentially via open market operations, the Federal Reserve or any central bank like the Bank of England buying these uh, government debt, these treasuries uh, or gilts in, in the open market. And this basically provides liquid liquidity to financial, financial institutions. What helicopter money does is it directly hands money to consumers. And the theory basically just says that we would send us, it would send us scurrying to the shops um, or online shopping uh, to spend our windfalls uh, and boost the economy, essentially increasing consumer expenditure. Uh, and as a proportion of GDP, consumer expenditure is around 70%, um, mostly uh, in most uh, economies. So that increased demand would then allow prices to rise again, um, because there's a huge discussion at the moment about um, deflation, uh, because there's been a huge demand shock as a result of the coronavirus. Uh, and there are fears um, of this extended uh, stagflation uh, or potentially deflation, which is extremely dangerous. And deflation uh, versus inflation is a, a concept that I'll uh, basically cover in another video. But deflation, uh, deflation is actually more dangerous uh, than inflation. 
as consumers believe uh, prices are going to fall further, they put off spending even more. And then obviously this has a ripple on effect uh, in terms of kind of the velocity of money and people actually putting off purchases, which actually shrinks uh, the economy. So um, this actually goes directly to consumers, whereas QE doesn't have a direct impact uh, on the public. So who would be eligible for this uh, stimulus pay payment? Um, so this is actually taking kind of a very uh, holistic overview of the US kind of the way they set this up. Um, so I've kind of translated it into pounds uh, and this is something what it could look like. Um, so this could be you're a single UK resident and have an adjusted gross income of less than £75,000. If you make more than £75,000, the amount given would go down incrementally by £5 for every £100 increase in salary. So it's an incremental uh, kind of increase or decrease in the stimulus check uh, for the increase in income that you have above that £75,000 hypothetical uh, wage. Um, you file as the head of the household and earn under £146,000, which obviously sounds like a lot of money, um, but let's say um, you don't have a partner that's currently working at the moment. So um, otherwise, you file jointly without children and less, uh, earn less than £200,000, um, or you're the parent uh, of a child aged 16 or young, uh, younger. So um, this is, you know, may sound so uh, too good to be true, uh, but this is an economic measure that's essentially going to stimulate consumer expenditure to essentially um, repay that money. Um, you will not need to repay that money, uh, essentially. It will be the economy that kickstarts again and then the ripple effect and the multiplier effect of that consumer expenditure should uh, pay the government back uh, and the economic damage could be lessened uh, and economic growth could then uh, increase. What are the po political implications? Um, opponents basically argue that helicopter money isn't really free uh, and actually printing more money. So not quantitative easing, but uh, through helicopter money uh, devalues the buying power of essentially what savers have in their accounts. This paired with potential negative interest rates could uh, where there's essentially uh, negative interest rates or a tax on savings. This could have a real uh, impact uh, on savers. So others also say that um, helicopter money is an overly complicated substitute uh, for a fiscal stim stimulus that government should be providing. But again, that costs a lot of money. Um, the Democrats in the United States want another three billion to be passed. Um, so obviously this uh, it has to be paid back uh, in the future, um, usually by higher taxes. Um, there's also a real danger that this could trigger much higher inflation than the 2% tar target that's kind of seem uh, kind of deemed desirable. Um, but just remember, there's $7.9 trillion that have been pumped through QE that um, could lead to potential inflation as well. So if you've got that kind of two pronged uh, effect, let's say in a year's time when the kind of economic um, damage and the deflation, stagflation, whatever you want to call it, of this year is kind of bypassed. You've got all this liquidity uh, and there could be, you know, real uh, inflation to be triggered. Uh, it may actually just fail anyway, uh, given that nothing basically in economics is currently working out as a te textbook uh, promised. You know, why would this work? Uh, people may just save this uh, stimulus check uh, instead of spending it. So, what would you spend your stimulus check on? Um, so uh, this is a graphic that basically says that consumers that receive the stimulus check in America uh, basically made uh, stock trades and were investing in equities. So obviously this would have a negative impact on what they actually want you to do with this money. Um, this is just basically flowing back into the equity of companies. Um, what they want you to do is basically go to your local restaurant your bar when they open and support your local economy, support your domestic economy, uh, so it gets going again. Um, so trading stocks was among the most common uses for the government stimulus, uh, checks in basically nearly in every income uh, bracket, according to uh, this data, and people earning between $35,000 and $75,000 annually traded stocks about 90% more than the week prior to receiving their uh, a stim stimulus check and the data basically says there's a correlation between um, COVID and people being uh, renegade with their money. Um, so the question is, what would you spend your stimulus check on? Put down in the comment section be below 
maybe I would spend my money on uh, getting a decent haircut. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good weekend uh, and take care.